Understanding centerpiece, a key English phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, centerpiece. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding such phrases can really help in mastering the English language. So, let's dive in and unravel the various nuances of centerpiece. The term centerpiece originally refers to a decorative object placed in the center of a table, especially during special occasions like dinners or parties. This item is usually eye-catching and meant to be the focal point of table decoration. It could be a flower arrangement, a sculpture, or any artistic element that draws attention. In a figurative sense, centerpiece extends beyond a physical object on a table. It can describe anything that is considered the most important, attention-grabbing, or central element in a situation, event, or discussion. For example, in a sentence like, the new policy is the centerpiece of the government's agenda, it signifies that the policy is the most crucial part of the government's plan. To better understand centerpiece, let's look at some examples. 1. The hand-painted vase was the centerpiece of the exhibition, captivating all who saw it. 2. In her speech, the principal made the new educational reforms the centerpiece of her address. These examples show how centerpiece can be used both literally and figuratively to emphasize the importance or central role of something in a particular context. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding the phrase, centerpiece. Remember, mastering a language is not just about learning words, but also about understanding the context in which they are used. Keep practicing, and soon you'll find these phrases becoming a natural part of your English vocabulary. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.